You are now in a world where inanimated objects are in fact animated, staring back at you with dead soulless eyes. This is the Twilight Bucket Bay. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Maybe we get that out of the way, considering we did bring that up as a tangent last part. Yeah, welcome back to the level that all Banjo-Kazooie fans like to pretend doesn't exist. Welcome to Steaming Battle of Toxic Shit for Level, Part 2. Oh, you mean uh, Grundy Industries? I said Banjo-Kazooie. That's Mach 2, not Part 2. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's fair. You just got comboed by a slug. How do you, what do you have to say for yourself? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Best response I can come with that. <laughs> Banjo voiced by Tim Allen in the upcoming film Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> What's up, Seely? I was laughing what Iggy said. Yeah. Tim Allen. <laughs> hey? I can't do it. It's really honestly just imagine that for a second. If all Banjo's lines were replaced with that uh, fucking uh, voice, uh, Ron Tomatoes uh, agrees. Like they sample, uh, like they sample uh, that. Uh, uh, yeah. Ron Tomatoes agrees. The next best Ooh, thing. Oh god! Yeah, be careful. Not all of them. I think though. I think those are just invincible. Yeah. Yeah, you can't hurt them, but they could hurt you. Also, you could break open that glass window and graves in the wall. Also, you need to remember that code. Yes. This level's very. This level, I think, is the most difficult in terms of like puzzles and like, knowing where you can and can't go in. I wonder if that's a legitimate phone number. It isn't. It's a six, I don't it's a think six it is. digit number. It's phone numbers are seven digits. Oh. Also, I remembered the Twilight Zone thing I was going to talk about, which is that uh, it was. I remembered it was not Elm Street. It was a different type. It was a different tree. It was the monsters are due on Maple Street. Oh. So again, the story of that was that you know typical unassuming you know uh, mild mannered American hometown, then suddenly. Power goes out entirely. No electricity, no heat, no radio, no phones, no cars, nothing. And then, like, not even car engines will turn on. Then, uh, throughout the whole episode, uh, suddenly, while they're all trying to figure out what's going on, suddenly the lights and electricity and energy all comes on, but only in one house. And the owners of that house are like, wait, wait, what? No, we don't, we don't know why it's happening. And, of course, everyone's like, well, wait, if all of ours went off except yours... What are you doing? Like they all, like everyone just starts now think. So the I, the whole premise is that everyone, and and like the energy will just suddenly turn off. It'll be on another person's house, and it just becomes total chaos by the end of the episode with everybody accusing everyone else because they're just going off of who has the power. Because of course, if you had control of it, you would want to give yourself the power and no one else mm -hmm. of electricity. And in the end, it the camera pans out, and it's just two aliens on a hilltop watching all this happen, and they're having, like, a device in their hands. Hmm. And the whole thing is that they're saying, like, really? Don't, it's like, really, it's that simple, you see? All we do is we just have this switch that flicks on and off no, the power around right the neighborhood. Too. Do it at random. Do it at <laughs> random. Well, no, they never, that was, the, that was the scary part, is they never found out. And the idea was that they were like, really, all we have to do is just do this. And we can set all of them up against one another. All for their own amusement. Except for one house. And we'll do this at every city we go to in the next. And so the idea was that they were going to take over the entire world literally by just pitting us against each other. Ah. Hmm. Sounds familiar. There are really, there are really good Twilight Zone episodes. Like, I, I think they're great because not only are they creepy, they make you think. They make you think of how inhuman we humans are. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing I'm a bear. Yeah, I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> All I have to worry about are ticks on my back. <laughs> All I was, about, I was about to say. All I have to worry about is keeping Kazooie fed. Kazooie? No, no response. <laughs> oh no! It's forever. <laughs> you fed her too many eggs, Banjo. Now she's spitting them out. I was like, how are you making that? You're very off. I thought. There you go. Oh, that looks. Oh fun. no, the path is crooked. What are we gonna ah, do? No worries. All this, all this is just for the sake of a Jinjo. And some slugs. Okay. <laughs> I guess it should be said that sometimes it doesn't always pay to use the talent truck. Just use your own two feet. I'm just saying, if someone modded this game, were only one, only one out of the entire game. If someone modded this game, were just one of those slugs did, suddenly did, came did, out did. screaming and bloody, I would be terrified. <laughs> no, I was kind of hoping that they would mod one of the slugs to do, like, the fucking... I'm trying to remember... I'm trying to remember, like, the specific scream. Or, like, the scream sound effect more like it. Which one? I Which can't remember it, though. 
can you can you mimic the sound? I'm sure hype will be able to fill in the blanks for you. Oh, uh, that looks fun. I would, but I don't want to scare the the video goers because I will well, be very loud. Okay, well, well let's how see. About the this? classic ones you, we know are the goofy. Do you screen. remember where you heard it from? Like, yeah. Do you know? Do you remember a, a popular media thing that had that sound effect in it? I kind of want to say like a Nickelodeon cartoon. I know it wasn't oh, cartoon. Oh, yeah, I think. Was uh, it Agra Monsters? Screen. Because if it is, it's probably the Howie screen. No, it's not that. Hmm. So the Howie screen like is that. Yeah. that... <laughs> it's kind of like that. Yeah, Only, the... <laughs> like, higher pitch. No, not the Howie scream. Okay. Not. <laughs> not the Wilhelm scream. Oh, oh no! Oh, like... Boss time. Who hey, dares hey, enter Boss Boom Boxes old? See, when I, I see put in my jigsaw. Oh, You'll never get it. See, when I see this, I'm like, hey, James, look, it, look, it. I don't know why, just the, the look of it. <laughs> I, 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 I'm reminded of the, I'm reminded of the hay bot. Wow. I love his yeah. face whenever he gets hit. He kind of looks like a napescape monkey. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, when, when, you, when you, when you surprise him and his mouth wow. opens up. Yeah, just cheese uh, him with the Wonder Wing, though. That's fair. Also, unlike his uh, smaller brethren, he doesn't explode. Nope. Yeah, because he's not TNT great. Just a normal great. You've splintered me! Take this! I didn't want it really! Actually, if I can interject with that he's real quick. Guy. You killed me! Good! <laughs> Good! 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 <laughs> Actually, that, that sounds like saying that sounds like saying Kazooie would say more. <laughs> Good! Good. Ah. <laughs> That's great and good. So yeah, he, we pretty much splintered him. So let's see what else we can do in the, in the ship. Just yeah, unfortunately, like the stuff I had to do in between um, this and the last level, I did have to I did have to start splitting these up into two because I didn't want to get too, fair. too long. Yeah, because this level and the and the next one are pretty lengthy. Well, the next one's long because you're practically going through four levels in one. Mm -hmm. Something like that, yeah. <sighs> I do really like what, what what they how they do in the last level though, because yeah, it's. Something I wonder if there's a Korok on top of that flagpole. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was more so thinking like, I claim this planet in the name of Rare. Isn't that lovely? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? <laughs> uh, good times. Oh, there's a fan button, oh, and there's the other one. Oh yeah. Ugh. Well, push the switch. Oop. This one's not too bad. This one keeps no, these it's ones terrible. going slow forever. It's nice. No, screw this. This is the worst jiggy in the game. Wait, wait no, he means the, the one, one you're about to get to. With no, fans. this one right here. This, this, this one right here. Mm -hmm. I agree. This one sucks. The most notorious jiggy in the game. I thought the most notorious one was just getting to the getting to the jiggy behind the propel, propeller fans down in. That's the what deck. we're talking about. I thought you were. I thought you were just talking about the one in that room. No, that one's fine. It's the race to get around and go back to those things because oh, because we should tell you, silly. Not because the problem is that not only, not all, oh yeah. By the way, if you're ever going for a 100 note like all in one go, do that jiggy oh. last and after you've gotten all the notes. Because mm -hmm. the issue is that those fans will turn on whether you are on the other side or on the first side, in which case you're just screwed. And, and throw when those fans... Off. No, not only that, Icky, when those fans turn on, if you get clipped by them, you're dead. Mm -hmm. You're just immediately dead. Mm. No hit Aww. points, insta-kill. Look at this. Oh, because they spin way too fast. Yeah. Ooh. Hey. 30. Time to put the code. 1 is number 2. Mm. Screw that, Sealy. 1. 1. 1. one. Van. That's it. Yay! You know, I heard the volume of the game uh, go up a little bit, so I thought you were going to edit in some wacky sound effect. <laughs> but alas, I, I don't remember if that I don't remember if that code is uh, randomized or not. No, it is. Uh, no, it it's not. It's it pre-established. Yeah, because it's a text. Yeah, because it's a, it's a textured image. They couldn't like randomize that. It's also, a JPEG. Hmm. Ooh. Also, if I ha also if I had to replace the sound effects, I would have each one be a different screen. That Three is would be the one big fridge. Three would be the, it's yeah. Three would be a gr three would be the goofy scream. Number two would be the Wilhelm scream. One would be the Howie scream. Yeah, yeah. Well, no. Here's Just, the thing. We're a full size bear. Reggie's a Just, witch. That's barely like twice our oh, size. Stupid bear. That's not even twice our size. Learn that red hot ovens tend to burn. 
I thought about that like five seconds ago. What's that? Oh, I had to get that. I will what, say. What I, was she I, doing I, roasting a fucking Ikumbokum skull? I don't know, but I will say I do. I, I am at least I have I have fun with the fact that the uh, that the rare people like thought to code in that conversation. Yeah, like they didn't have to, but they had a unique Ooh. dialogue for right. you touching a red hot. Get hot the eggs out of the stove. fridge. Come on. Fuck that! I don't need it. I already have all the eggs I need. I don't even know what I was doing that in the first place. You know, I forget if I mentioned it earlier or if I mentioned it to someone else, but this could pass off as an early GameCube title. I can see it. Just from sheer really? graphical fidelity. Early? I don't know if I would say that early. Like, I mean... Hmm. Or, you know, like a PS1, t uh, PS2 title. I, I guess so. Anyways, hey, look, it's a map of Treasure Trove Cove. Yeah. It's like they were planning... It's like they were plotting a... They were plotting a plunder down there. But what's that map over there? Hmm. I don't know. You got me. Come on. Get on. Easy. This tech yeah, right. a ship run by <laughs> goblins. This is pretty high tech shit they're messing with. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, comparing that, comparing that computer console alone on N sixty four, that 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 does look really nice. High. That does look really high quality. And then again, the whole like this, comparing this to Mobile Mountain doesn't even look like you're playing yeah. the same game. Yeah. Tell me about it. I mean, what? It's pretty clear. Like the further you go through this, the less condensed the levels start to be. Okay. I think I was trying to mention it before, but we kept uh, devolving into other conversations. But go for it. I was going to mention that I really love the Siva Gunner version of the song, only because it's literally just the uh, regular song, but the xylophone tone keeps going up and up and up. Mm -hmm. huh. By the way, how are you? Sis? Also, anyway, this what... room's a bit special. Oh, good. This? How are you guys doing? Doing all right. Doing okay. Why is this room um, special? I say this room is a little bit special because one, you get a little picture of the rusty bucket in Prime, and on top of this bed, if you input the proper cheat code, you get a red stop and swap egg. Mm. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, that's oh no, no, that's right. If you input the code in Treasure Trove Cove, an egg will appear on this bed. Mm -hmm. mm. Then maybe they change that for the Xbox version, and you just find it there naturally. Well, no, okay, that's the thing. Like, okay, in the original N64 version of the game, back before they had ever had plans to input or in, or or uh, properly or, implement the system. Yeah, they had yeah. no way to do it. So what they did was they left little debug codes, which they had fun with. They're actually little poems that rhyme. And you could is, still put them in. You can put them in. You could input them. The, pro the tricky part is that they're very long, and you don't get any like actual like. You don't get any notification that you're inputting it in correctly. Yeah. Which means you have to take pay very special mind of how much mm. you dump. When you do it, they'll just poof appear. Whoa! Wait a minute. Do you guys see that? I see that. Yay! Hey. <gasps> it's conquer. I saw it. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, wow. one of the goblins has him up as like a uh, Playboy poster. Wow! I did. I <laughs> conquer. I didn't expect to see you here. Was that added in this version? Because I conquer came out well after Banjo Kazooie, didn't he? Yeah. Okay, so I should say this much: the, the Easter egg was there in the original, but for the remit for the uh, Xbox version, they added they used the bad fur day conquer. At first, they used the twelve tails conquer. You know, back oh, the younger yeah. conquer, the more innocent. So days. they updated yeah, the, so and, they, for this. They updated the model. Yeah, they updated conquer, and I do believe you could also see a picture of Barry as mm. well. Hmm. You know, before she became a skank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Before the dark turn. Anyways, here we go. Worst part of the game. You know, honestly, I'm surprised that I'm Ow. surprised they didn't just make her a skunk and just make that the joke. Ha. <laughs> so yeah, this part this part here is pretty technical. Where are you? I'm sorry. No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I have this stupid like. Uh, crap. Hi, what was the name of the... Oh, what was the name oh, of the... Okay, oh, crap. What was the name of the comedy oh. duo that did the whole who's on second, who's on first kind of thing? What was that called? Abbott and Costello? Abbott and Costello. I just now had this really dumb, like, Abbott and Costello kind of... Abbott and Costello-esque routine between Barry and... and... and Conquer now under those rules, James. Hmm. Where... So hear me out, because I'm stupid. Um, it's like... <laughs> it's like... 
I was trying to think of, I was trying to think of how to work oh. that into a, I was oh trying to I was trying to think of how to work that into a rare esque joke and I was like oh have have it be like Conker's trying to solve a game of Hangman in front of Barry where it, all he has right now is Barry is Barry is the and it and it's everything except for the, the letter A in the middle of skunk. Oh my god! Or, or so so it looks Aww. like so it looks like S K blank N K. It's like Barry is the and and then Conker just offers A. <laughs> so and it's then a weird Barry's portion puzzle. No, and then Barry's like, no, you. And Conker's like, I'm not a skank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a squirrel. <laughs> uh, that that is pretty funny. Although if I could, I don't know. I just that just came off the top of my head. The only Abbott and Costello knockoff I'm really familiar with one is Nabbit and Catstella, which is that. I think I showed it to you guys. It's that one Looney, old Looney Tune short I showed you that was actually like the very first appearance of Tweety Bird. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> oh. Oh, goodbye, James. Down I go again. I remember. Uh, I remember the sort of Abbott and Costello thing, which was, uh, which part was the same. I think we're thinking of the same one, but that. Uh, wait. What's the name of the, what's the name of the the squirrel the, the old squirrel ma and the kid or whatever that she's always looking after? Oh, a slappy. Yeah, slappy I was squirrel. I was remembering this old Animaniacs thing where it was them and the kid was trying to tell her that the band The Who was playing at a park concert. And he's mm. like, he's like, hey, who's hey hey, what band's playing at this concert? The Who, the band, the band that's playing right now. The Who. I'm talking about the band that's on stage right now. Who? <laughs> the who? What are they? What, I just remember that. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, here we got the worst Shiggy in the game. Yeah, you gotta, this one sucks. Not only do you have to go back, but you have to go back quickly. Very Cause quickly. Because again, if those blades even start. If those blades are spinning, even if you're right in front of them, you're dead. They will kill you. All right, Kazooie, we're off to the poop deck. So it's an insta kill. Actually, I'm wrong. Yes. Nabbit, Babbit. Mm -hmm. Hey, Babbit! And we gotta go all. Wasn't the way that to the, the back. bat rabbit thing from Kodocha? No, I, I, huh? no, he's talking about what I said. No, I'm yeah, referencing okay. like the the old Grandpa, old Grandpa. timey, oh jeez, old timey animu thing. Oh jeez. <gasps> Make sure you get out before the propellers reactivate. Did they give you more time in this? Because I don't remember oh, them giving me this much time. Come on, hey. get out of there. Come on. Yeah, oh. yeah did they dry give land, you, dry did land. They give, do they give you more time in this? Because I don't remember having. I remember being a lot closer when oh. I tried to do that. Maybe? Why cross England? <laughs> and my last jiggy is to save poor dolphin here. The dolphin! Yeah, we let this we let this thing here strand. It's just teal boom. Look at him. I'm trapped! Help! Get this thing off Snorkel! Oh, no. oh um thing about um thing about Twy Cross England is it's the it's the uh location of uh Rareware's headquarters. Oh Yeah. Uh Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Yeah, you're still losing breath. Also, is this another spinning platform over bottomless pit section? I forget. I don't think so. Nah, just more bad water. And these things. And actually, yep, more slugs. I was about to say. And a goblin. I was about to say, I don't know if the dolphin talks again, but you should let Seely voice it since it's been a while since she did any voices. Yes. I don't think she's done any voices, has she? My point exactly. She did, did Brentilda's voice. She, she, yeah, she did Batilda. And Until she got a ca uh, case of laryngitis, in which me and uh, Hype alternated. And well, Logan and I did too. Yeah. So here we go, Seely. Holy shit, you got all 100 notes on Rusty Bucket Bay? You must be playing the Xbox for Oh, sure. God. Ooh. Thanks, guys. I found this earlier. It's yours. There you go. Oh. And then he died of exhaustion from all the shit. I'm surprised he didn't suffocate from the toxic shit before we saved him. And then, and then the dolphin goes to swim, and when it swims, only the front half of it swims away because that anchor clearly oh, that like, ground been through it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a really weird mood today. Well, no, it would also suggest that he could have just swam off regardless. Actually, what I would have... Anyways, we're done! Yay! Yay. Woo! Actually, what I would have suggested is that, like, only the first half swims away because it was cut off. Then the second half becomes animate. Then a pair of googly eyes just appears out of nowhere on it and it swims away. <laughs> oh my god. Whatever. Everything I... has eyes. <laughs> so what? Like the spinal cords, it's nose? So, Logan, Iki, I hope you guys are happy. We're never coming here ever again. Thank you. Oh, <gasps> good riddance. So, with that said, oh, just... sweet, sweet. 
it's still kind of murky water. <laughs> so join us. You know, this is the witch's urinal. Join us in the next part in which we will be exploring and finding a much nicer, sillier place with a much happier tune to it. Yep. Till next time, everybody. <laughs> bye bye. Saws you all next time. This has been the Twilight Bucket Bay.